So um, baking tins, uh, when I, the day the, the urge to bake came at me, I didn't own a single tin. I, I had nothing. So, um, and I was completely clueless. So my, lo <clears throat> my lovely friend, Helen Donegan, uh, told me that I, I had to get a, a spring form tin. So this is a spring form tin. I'll show you how it works. This is the bottom, see? And it goes in here. And then you see this catch here on the side? That's your spring. Now, see, like that. This is your tin now, you see? And then you can line it or grease it or whatever. Then you put your tin in or your cake in and then it bakes. And then after it's cooled, right, you go like this. And you snap the spring and you lift this off the side of the cake so it doesn't be sticking or anything like that. And then your cake is on this little yolk here. And, uh, and then you can put a plate on top of it and turn it upside down and then take off the bottom. Now this, as you can see, I did it in nail varnish. It says 20. That means 20 centimetres. You see, and I've done it in like this with the nail varnish so that I know, so I don't have to be clattering around in the drawers wondering. This is, funny enough, this is my favourite tin, really. This is a square 20 centimetre tin. And it's not a spring form, but it's a loose bottom, see? So the bottom lifts out, like so, do you see? And your cake is like that. And then you can wear this as a handy little bangle if you're Lady Gaga or somebody. Now, you see, I mean, lots of stuff. You need this if you're going to be making cupcakes. See, one of these little yolks with the holes in them. And then you get your lovely paper cupcake holders. Rita and my sister gave me these, they're gorgeous. And see, you put them in the holes, like so. Okay, right, I never made any claims to not be obsessive. Um, right, silicone, silicone tins, which so they're obviously not tins at all, but you see that? Isn't that beautiful? You see, and you put your cake batter into that. Um, you also need to put it on a, a baking tray so that it doesn't all flap and flop and then it bakes in the shape of hearts. And then when it's done, you see, you go like this. And if you're lucky and dexterous, the cake pops out. So that's very nice. These have flowers at the bottom, you see? And then you turn the cupcake upside down and it looks like a flower, beautiful. And uh, just a few more, do humor me here. Um, this now is if you wanted to make muffins, um, same sort of business, but bigger. Um, now, this is a bit crap, but I'll show you anyway. It's um, another silicone tin. See, and the great thing about silicone tins is like that you don't have to grease them. Um, so you fire your batter in or your cake mix in, and in theory, it should come out looking like the face of a sun. But actually, it didn't. It hasn't worked for me. And I don't even know why I've kept it, because I don't even like the colour. Now, this I'm very fond of. See, it's butterfly and it's green, but that doesn't affect the final colour of your cake. And um, again, you know, it's, this is good for like something like panna cottas. Not so great for cake because the surface detail here doesn't come out as lovely on the cake. Um, if you don't mind, I have a few more things. Um, uh, it'll be ending soon. But this is another silicone tin. Uh, this is really fantastic. It's a loaf tin, it's a, a litre loaf tin. And uh, you can make all kinds of like barn bracks and, and long cakes in it. And you don't have to grease it or anything. And it's just also easy, you know. You don't have to be bothering with baking paper or any of that sort of business. These are a special favourite. Um, my friend Malcolm gave me these. Look, do you see? They're little cupcake things, but they've got feet on them. So they can actually walk at night um, after we all go to bed. They get up and they dance around the kitchen. And... Uh, Sometimes I hear them. I think, oh, listen, the cupcakes are dancing. And it's such a happy feeling. And um, one more thing, I promise. This is the last thing. This is like for, for advanced people. Um, this is um, a handbag mold. Um, can you see? You see, like that. So like you bake your cake, you pour it in like this, and, um, and then you take it out and, you know, and it looks like this. And so it's got the designs 
of this on it and then you just ice it all in so you have your handbag so if somebody you know loves handbags and sure who doesn't um you could make them a cake like that but this is quite specialist stuff and uh these are all my tins and as I look at them here, I, I'm horrified, I'm mortified um, because I've been kind of acquiring them stealthily and putting them all in different spots around the house um, and sort of lying to myself about how many I have, but I have an awful lot, but still they're great.